kindness, man. We all need to be more kind, right? But it gets to a point, your kindness could be putting you in a vulnerable position and you could be opening up yourself to something bad that is happening with all that kindness. Yeah, you want to be kind, but you don't want to be taken advantage of. You want to be careful also. (laughs) Yeah. And we established last week that our producer, Cairo, obviously has a huge heart, but is putting himself or was putting himself in a very dangerous situation. And it went from bad to worse this week. Cairo. It didn't go... From bad to worse, things were okay when they started off. Um, to, to recap, I picked up a hitchhiker <laughs> the other alive. week. <laughs> He's I'm alive. still alive. There's that. Still the line. Um, so yeah, to, to recap, I picked up a hitchhiker last week. We ended up spending the whole night together, and the night ended with him ordering a bunch of waffles. And I didn't have <laughs> two, money for that. Waffles. Yeah. two waffles. Two right. waffles. Right. You drove this guy was... all over the state, and the wa- the second waffle is what set you off at right. four in the morning. It was technically three because you get an, a waffle with the omelet too. <laughs> okay. So there were three waffles involved. This guy's rude. That is that's, rude. That's an astronomical amount of waffles. I would be upset too. So that was a quick recap, but this was a guy that. Cairo just saw in the middle of the night walking down the street and asked him if he needed like help and then Cairo takes him in his car they drive around the city he doesn't even know who this dude is he looks like Dennis Rodman and his tattoos on his face tattoos on the Mm -hmm. face says get in my car Cairo drives him around for three hours drives him to his ex-girlfriend's house helps him move helps him move (laughs) right stood there while he broke up with his girlfriend right because he's moving away yeah because he was moving out of state, so he didn't want to do the whole long distance relationship yeah. thing. Right, Movi- right. Moving out of state at 3 a.m. Because who <laughs> needs to get out of the state fast at 3 a.m. except somebody that murdered somebody else? When he says moving out of state, he, he, what he means is I was driving him out of state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's three hours. And then finally, it ends up after you feed him also, and he takes advantage of your kindness by ordering a third waffle. What a son of a. I mean, um, <laughs> you end up dropping him off where? Um, at the bus station. Okay. And then, you also bought his bus ticket because he didn't have fare, right? Yeah. That okay. at that point, I was I was kind of fed up. I would have paid anything to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It so was we, just that morning. So we morning. think it's over. It's done. All right. Yeah. Um, and he's off on his way. And it was a wild chapter. But at least you're alive. Yeah. So I guess the mistake or I guess it kind of in a way turned out to be a blessing. I gave him my phone number in case on a little sticky note in my car. I was like, hey. I know your phone's not working right now, but if someone else does, if there's a problem with, because I paid for his bus ticket, so it's got mm-hmm. my name on there. I was like, if there's a problem, just call me, and then I can like talk to the bus driver and be like, hey, it's me. Okay. Um, so he texts me about Friday last week, and I immediately screenshot it, sent it to Tommy, and was like, <laughs> hey, this dude hit me up again. <laughs> like, all excited? Well, I was kind of excited because he told me he's homesick and he's coming back to Atlanta. And when he got here, he said he'd love to buy me a drink. And I was like, what? oh, he's got money again. That's good. <laughs> That's a quick turnaround. Or he needs another getaway driver. <laughs> okay, so, all right. Are you that hard up for friends? <laughs> no, it's just, I don't know. Like, if adventure presents itself, go on an adventure. One it's person's adventure. adventure is another person's. Ugh. I mean, all right, so he's saying once that- you travel with a man listening to Taylor Swift for an hour, that's a bond <laughs> that you can't just find anyway. Break that mo on yeah, the sense. Yeah, I get it. So he says he's coming back to town. Does he say anything like, "Hey, I'd like to repay your kindness. Let's go and have a drink"? Yeah, he okay, says thanks like for that. helping me out, man. Oh, okay. You know, he called me a saint, but he misspelled it. He called it a saunt. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's what he meant. Saunt <laughs> Okay. You got to pray to You can't turn me. down like a thank you drink. Yeah, you can. But go yeah, ahead. You, you can. really can. Yeah. I mean, because that could have been a chapter over. You really did put yourself in a very vulnerable position. You helped the guy out, but you acted with kindness. Yeah. You know what? That chapter's over. You're safe. Well... I guess the there's another chapter to the book, I right. guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it's, you're saying that I didn't I mean you can't turn down a drink and what we're saying is yeah, you certainly could have, but you did. For the record, if you and I were ever in a choose your own adventure book together, <laughs> we would have to part ways. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kristen's book is one chapter, yours yeah. is seven. <laughs> okay. So he came in town um Sunday night and he hits me up and I was like, "Hey, if you need, you know, no need to pay for an Uber or anything, like I'm up." <laughs> Like, wow. I'll just give you a ride. Like, I, you this know, we've already established back. you're not going to, like, rob me or anything. Have so, we? like, we're good. Yeah, because it couldn't be setting you up. So how did, how did he get back here? He took another bus. Another bus back. Okay. 
Because so, he has a friend that's going to pay for stuff and be a free Uber forever. Right. So he got a little homesick. I'm not a free Uber. I'm just, I just happen to have a car right now. So, like, spread the wealth. So <laughs> if you didn't have a car, right, and he was coming back, you think he would have reached out to you? He would have, and I would have told him no. Okay. So <laughs> I'm not walking. Strictly a car. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. Um, so we, uh, I drove him back to my apartment, and we just chilled there for a while because— <laughs> Oh, he's, okay. They're friends. Yeah, yeah. Like They're we friends. know each other. I know. Uh, okay. I know his name and everything. His name is Greg, by the way. Okay. So, like, we're on a first name basis. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Sorry. Can we really quick? Because like Cairo is your radio name. Yeah. But your your like your, your real, real name. name. Real name is Craig. So, so I thought Craig that was a connection. Craig and Greg. Craig and Greg. Craig and Greg. <laughs> the adventures of Craig and Greg. This Just is with things couldn't yes. get any better. Okay, so he says, look, let's go have a drink. That normally means we're going to meet out at a bar somewhere. We're going to go ahead, we'll toast each other, and then we'll be on our way. Thanks so much, Craig well, from Greg. The the parking at the bar he wanted to go to is kind of expensive, and I don't have cash on me. So we went back to my apartment, and he said he knew this girl that could give us a ride. Um, that girl turned out to be his uh, ex-girlfriend. The girl that you went to the apartment to that he broke up with in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, oh the, so she drives a really nice car. She drives a Mercedes, um, which the only like bad thing about Mercedes, they don't have a whole lot of space kind of in yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah. Kill, oh, yeah. I was, Boom, I was who really, wants a Mercedes without really, a bunch of space in the back? Right. I was really scrunched <laughs> up back there. <laughs> You're just a long guy. <laughs> You're very long. As somebody that endorses Mercedes, I do not endorse that statement. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Mercedes no, 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 no. are very spacious. There's already, she has all of her stuff, and we're moving in the stuff because he's moving back into the city. So I'm sitting with all this stuff in the back. So it's it's not the car's fault. It's really the amount of stuff we had shoved no, back no, no. there with me. No, it's your fault. <laughs> right. You got yourself into this situation. Yep. He was coming back just to repay your kindness with a drink, and now you're in the back seat of a crammed Mercedes with a whole bunch of luggage. Headed to the club. So, <laughs> Headed to the club. So we uh, we went to the club, and it was uh, she saw one of her friends, ran ahead of us after she had parked and everything, runs in with the girls and everything, then we walk up, and the guy tells us it's a $20 cover. Jeez. I've never been to a bar with a cover. Like, I've been to them, but then I walk away. <laughs> right. Um, so the bouncer actually notices Greg, and they've known each other. So he comes up, and, he, you know, they're hugging and everything. Sure, Greg's been selling them pot for a year. No, yet. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> anyway, go ahead. So he lets us both in, no cover, and he gets us into the VIP area. Like, so... Like, when I say we were on another level that night, like, we were literally, like, a foot taller than everybody because it's on, like, a little raised level, the <laughs> VIP area. We, we, it we was great. It. They you get bring, to look down yeah. on all the commoners. <laughs> they bring They bring, like, bottles and everything to the VIP area, yeah. like, and just have them in these, like, tubs of ice. Yeah. Is this like your I've, first experience? This is your first experience <laughs> in a VIP? Yes. <laughs> Clearly. I don't know if you can tell, but this is my first time. <laughs> yeah, they're, bringing we, out, we see. they're bringing out, like, whole bottles. I was like, I... Whenever I go out, I just get the like little plastic cup. That's all they trust me with. And right. they're like handing you a whole bottle. I was like, I don't want to hold this. I'm going to drop it. So a homeless guy <laughs> pulled his strings to get you into a VIP at a club. He's not that homeless. <laughs> he's he's not, not that, that homeless. Not that homeless. <laughs> a quarter homeless. I'm just a quarter homeless. Okay. <laughs> so we, I, I had a couple Did drinks. Did this make up for the extra waffles? It did. Okay, you okay. Because it had me feeling great. And I was feeling so good at the at the um, club that I told him, like, I had had a couple drinks. I was limiting myself because I had to come into work in the morning. And I told him, like, hey, man, you know, like, brother to brother, you can just, if you don't have a place, you just spend the place uh -huh. night at my place. Uh -huh. like. So uh -huh. from Craig to Greg, you can just go <laughs> ahead and you can come on over. And that was how long ago? Um, That was Sunday night. He's currently sleeping at my apartment now. Oh my what? God! You what? need what? to watch more <laughs> true crime. <laughs> what? There's this is. I'm what? sorry. It's irresponsible, Craig. That wasn't even the end of the night. We ended up about midnight ish. Some guy came to the VIP area. He seemed like really important. He had like multiple chains on and everything. And he told us that this local rapper was having a birthday party at another bar further in the city. So we were like. 
Sure, why not? Like, why does the night have to end? So Craig and Greg go out of the club, and they <laughs> yep. go, and they and hang out. And we go to uh, another <laughs> club. This time, the cover charge there was $40 and $20 for women. And we waited outside. They wouldn't let us in because we didn't have money. And then... <laughs> rude. <laughs> rude of them. And eventually, the guy comes out whose birthday it is and, like, let us in, talk to the guy who's like, hey, look, I've bought three tables at this place, you know, <laughs> let my friends in. And I just asked the guy, like, hey, how much is it to reserve a table here? Dude, it's $900 and a three-bottle minimum. And I don't know how much bottles cost, but if a table is $900, <laughs> they got to be at least, like, 50 Yeah. So you hang with these people. More than that. More than that. I can't oh believe you're God. introduced to this whole experience by a, a quarter homeless guy. So you go to the club, and then sometime that night, because in the interest of time, I think we're going to have to speed this up a little bit. He's now been living with you now for four days. Yes, he's been living, and then afterwards we came back home, and I'll show you guys a picture. I was smart this time. I did not want to pay for three waffles. So we <laughs> attempted. Yeah. I bought a waffle iron. Yeah. We attempted to make our own waffles. Yep. This is adorable. Um, so long story short, baking soda and baking powder are different. different. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my so, goodness. So... We uh, we didn't actually we had we tried our waffles we we had to go back to Waffle House again in order. <laughs> Is he waffles. currently asleep at your home by himself? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Adventures okay. of Craig and Greg. Yeah. It's just Today across the street. If anything goes waffle. wrong, I'm right here. What? So y- yesterday when we're about to do our post show meeting, right? Cairo here goes, "Hey, I may be late for the post show meeting." And I jokingly say, "What's the homeless guy in your house?" And there's silence. <laughs> that explains. I'm it. like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> You said it in a judgy way, though. Like, <laughs> I was joking. Yes. You're thinking there was no way. Oh. <laughs> the Bird Show.